Hey, thanks for clicking on this video. The tutorial that you're about to see is gonna be totally awesome. Trust me, I know these things. So don't forget to leave a like. And if you didn't like the video, fair enough. But seriously, enjoy the video. Hey, what's going on guys, Darius here. And today I will be teaching you how to make GIFs out of videos. So for example, let's say you found some funny clip online and you wanna turn it into a GIF. Um, you know, maybe add some effects and stuff like that. Or uh, you have a video game character and you want to, for example, uh, show him off in a GIF and you can't post uh, videos on this certain site or uh, you want to make an animated avatar uh, for forums or blogs or whatever um, or you just want like a GIF to post somewhere, you know, like Reddit. Um, so let's see how you can do that. So the first thing that you need is a video and Photoshop extended. It's really important that you have a extended version of Photoshop. It can be CS4, CS5, CS6. Um, and the second thing that you will need is a movie editing software such as Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere Pro and um, Windows Movie Maker also works, but yeah, it's, it's a Windows Movie Maker. <laughs> So once you captured your footage, make sure to import it into Photoshop. Let's get started with uh, the video. So I already have a uh, video that I pre-rendered and it's my Guild Wars 2 character. Um, and like I'm showcasing it, let me just show you. So you go into Photoshop, make sure you have extended as I said. Uh, how do I know if I have extended? Well, it's simple, you have the 3D option here. Um, or you can check your Photoshop version uh, in help or someone then go to file and then import and then video frames to layers and if you have this then most likely your Photoshop is extended and click that and it will take you to a window where you can select your clip and I'm just going to import it from the desktop and I have it here it's called untitled and it's an mp4 pro um, an mp4 video format and I'm gonna open it and now you will get to this uh, window here and it says import video to layers and then from beginning to end if you want the entire video to be imported into Photoshop or you can select the range and like move these arrows here to select the range of your uh, video like you just want a section not the entire video. So I'm gonna choose from beginning to end and uh, you can also limit the video every two frames but uh, we're not gonna do that. And then make frame animation. This is really important that you have ticked. And then OK. And it's slowly going to import the video. Depending on the size um, of the video, it's going to import it into Photoshop. So you got all these layers, and each of these layers is a frame of the video. And as you can see, they are hidden because every time that I unhide one, the video continues. And I'm going to show you how to uh, quickly. Uh, just manage manage these uh, these frames. So we're missing something here. We're missing a timeline. To enable your timeline, make sure to go to Window and then Timeline in Photoshop CS6. If you have CS5 or lower, uh, I think it's Animation Window Animation. Uh, but you can also go to Workspace and find Animation or Motion or anything that has to do with that and you will get the uh, necessary panels. So I'm just going to put up the uh, timeline right here and uh, as you can see every frame that uh, we have in the video is right down here. Uh, so let's see some of the things that we can do with uh, this, um, this video. First of all, you can edit the individual frames, like on one frame you can make it red, on another you can make it, uh, you know, add some text, make it special, I don't know. Uh, and it's just gonna go through the video. Um, if you want to edit everything in the video, uh, like a big whole effect, then uh, just simply click on the last frame, which is frame two, 249 for me, and is it's on top um, of every, of all the layers. Uh, just make an adjustment layer. For example, I'm going to add some uh, curves uh, and I'm going to, I know, make this brighter, darker, um, probably add some color correction. I'm going to add some blue. There we go. Some yellow, some greens, maybe. There we go. And some green. Just make it pop. And we're going to add some gradients. There we go. Gradient map. Uh, let's see. Let's choose this uh, blue here and put it on soft light. You know, just play around with it, uh, mess around, don't have to be super accurate about stuff. Uh, I mean, right now I'm doing that. Um, let's see, some hue and saturation, maybe give it a bit more color, you know. 
make it pop out more uh, maybe play with the levels or the brightness and the contrast there we go and this is fun because you can add every single effect and that you would normally add to a piece on uh, a video um, or a gif which is awesome uh, you can also make a new layer for example and uh, add a custom frame uh, probably some vignette Lately, let's add a vignette just like this yeah that's too big let me just make it smaller 401 let's see black and there's gonna add a simple vignette here to the video and works really nice let me just lower the opacity so we don't make it so intense and now if i play the video uh, press space by the way to play and it's going to play the video with the effects added and you will see every frame uh added this this effect which is awesome um as you can see the video is going quite slow right now and it's because it's running at 0 0.03 speed uh how do we change that you uh select all frames you click here on this option here and then uh where is it select all frames and then go to your uh animation uh, speed thingy which is this arrow pointing down next to the uh, number under the frame and uh, you select for example uh, no delay or um, let's say no delay for example uh, let's see how this works yeah this works a bit faster if you added a five second delay for example uh, to all the frames let me just select them then every frame would play every five seconds let's say two so it doesn't take too long so I press space and now every frame is uh, going every two uh, seconds so let me just uh, reset that let me just undo there we go select frames and I'm gonna put it to no delay it's really important that you put it no delay if you want your video to go as fast as um, as the original video uh, and now you can make a loop forever three times once or a custom value you can make a loop any times you want uh, forever here if you click on the arrow down uh, yeah <laughs> um, that's basically all you need and for example for this type of character um, I really like to do something when I make gifs for uh, video games I like to add the name of the character so I'm gonna add a text layer for example make sure when you add um, when you add effects and new layers make sure to add them at frame one you just go back to frame one so it adds everything on top if you went to frame 10 and added some effects then the effects will start at frame 10 um, so I'm just gonna name my character there we go some level 80 guardian server fields wait a second fields of poop there we go gonna make the text white there we go and why is it pink no damn it there we go so we got our um text right here next to the character and as i play the video it's gonna stay there and people are gonna know the character name the level the guardian the, um, the class and the server that i am on in uh, guild wars 2. now you can actually crop the image too you know like if you don't want the entire thing to show up image um yeah selection tool rectangular marquee tool select the area and then go to image and crop and it's going to make your image smaller and the video is going to obviously play normally you're just gonna have a smaller image and i even want it smaller than this i don't want it to show because it's to show that much because it's going to go in my signature on a form for example so i'm gonna go to uh image image size and you have all these uh, options ticked i'm gonna put it to i don't know 200 there we go and it's gonna resize proportionally and then okay and it should crop it right away there we go pow sorry for that guys photoshop decided to crash on me because he's a fucking asshole and now i had to redo everything again all over again so boys and girls make sure to always save your files <sighs> anyway so where were we i was going to show you how to uh make your frame or your frames blend really well together so they go in a smooth animation so you don't have any cuts any uh, lag 
um, and how to export it and when, what settings to use for optimal quality and size. So now uh, once you have your whole image here, all the frames done, effects or whatever you added to your image, um, you're going to go here and then select all the frames and then I'm going to click in the same spot again and then convert to video timeline and it's going to make a timeline um, video layer thingy you're going to have all the layers on timelines if I scroll down there's everything there and if I play it right now the video is really really smooth all the frames are just played together nicely uh, with a nice smooth transition animation thingy blah 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 um, and now I'm going to save this file save for web there we go and then uh, loop forever and if I play it, it'll play it really smooth. Uh, you can loop it how many times you want, obviously. Um, make sure to have a GIF here selected. If you have JPEG or PNG or whatever else selected, select GIF. The colors, I stick between 128 and 256 usually. Uh, depends on your image uh, color rate, like how many colors do you have in the image. If you have a black and white color, then just stick to two colors of four or eight, you know. Um, adaptive select adaptive diffusion and this is gonna give the uh, image uh, some nice 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 uh, quality and obviously there's gonna be some noise some um, pixels because GIFs are not known for being high quality and the size isn't being modest at all so uh, it's a GIF you know it's normal there's a reason they are so big um, and then transparency make sure you have it on because if I turn it off look at the size it just popped up one megabyte so I'm gonna tick it so I have it here 2.8 megabytes okay so uh, you don't need to touch any of the other options web snap is really bad don't touch that and then just save it on the desktop uh, gif character for example and it's gonna save the gif and just gonna minimize Photoshop for now, you know. And I have a browser open here. This is the stupidest shit ever. If I open a GIF with the uh, the normal image viewer, it's not gonna play. Windows XP used to do that. What the fuck, Microsoft? What the fuck? I have to like drag GIFs inside a uh, Chrome fucking browser windows. Anyway, just gonna drag that and check that out. Smooth animation, perfectly. This is my character. It looks nice. Super cool and yeah awesome so you guys learn how to make gifs gif animations from videos today how do you feel does it feel good to have more knowledge than your friends yes it does so thank you for watching this awesome incredible tutorial uh make sure to subscribe uh vacations passed by the way i was in vacation enjoying my time alone you know uh, which is why I haven't uploaded videos, but I, if if you're following me on following me on Facebook, you know that I have been keeping you busy with resources all the day. So thank you for subscribing to me, new guys, and thank you for uh, the old subscribers that are around here. Uh, hello <laughs> and goodbye in the next video.